channel. Like, comment, subscribe, hit notification bell. So it is over there somewhere right here. Hit that bell so you can get a video every time I upload. So I am gonna be making some fish. It's already um just marinating in some seasoning in my sauce. So um I'm gonna grill some actually, and I think I'm gonna make some rice and a vegetable. I don't know exactly what vegetable yet, but I'll figure it out as I go along. Okay, so give me one second. All right, y'all. So I changed my mind. I'm not gonna grill the fish. I'm going to do my um. I'm going to bake it in the oven. And like I said, it's already in the sauce and everything. I don't know if you can see it. It's already in the sauce. So, I'm going to show you how I normally do my fish. I do it like this. So, get some foil. I take a piece of foil about this size. Um... Take a piece of fish. Ooh. Okay. Now I can, let me see if I can move this down. Hold up. Okay. So, take a piece of fish. I have some onions. I got green pepper in here and red peppers. So, I just take a little bit of this. And I just... Move that on like that. All right, so I'll just move it on like that. Let me see if I can bring it close to the stick. So just move it on. And then I'll pull up both of the sides. And I just wrap it like this. I fold this end down. And I fold this end down. And this fish is ready to go in. So this is how I um cook my fish. So I get a little. So each fish has its own foil. Before going into the oven. Put it on the foil. I said paper. I say foil. Oh, I'm gonna make my hands dirty. I'm so sorry. Um, take some peppers and onions. Just move that on there. You can put how much you want on yours. This is just the way I do mine. So, okay. of your fish is going to go in in its own foil like this okay so I am going to turn the stove on to preheat the stove okay I am going to finish wrapping this and I'll be right back also guys if you feel like you don't have enough sauce on here so here's I don't know if y'all can see it here's the sauce you just take a little bit Put it on there. And then you still just put this right on top. Because you want it to be nice and moist when it comes out. Okay. So like I said, keep turning around. Okay. You just wrap it. going to go into the oven okay so I just sit these in a pan just like this you 
got three left. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. Right here. I don't really like laying them on top of each other. I like them to be like nice and flat. Cause I want like some cooking room. So I'm gonna use another pan for this. And I got a couple seconds left before this go into the oven, okay? So give me one second. Okay, so, and I also like this pan. I like this pan a lot, but I'm gonna put this in here like this. And I'm gonna stick these in the oven. Wasn't planning on doing no dishes, but I ran out of foil pan, so this is just gonna have to work for now. Okay, so let me see if I can show you guys. I got one minute left before they go into the oven. And this is how I put them in the oven. Or whatever. So 44 seconds left, and then I'm gonna put this in the oven, and then I'm gonna get started on my rice. Okay, so I decided to make some fried cabbage. So I am going to, while this water's still heating up for the rice, I am going to just start putting this in here. And I'm going to season it um, once it starts cooking. Then I'm going to put the seasoning and everything in here because I'm going to add sausage also to my own um, fried cabbage. Okay, so we put a little bit at a, in at a time and let it, you know, simmer down. I think I need to get, let me see, I need a lid. The lid on. Just throw that lid on there. Okay, I'm going to cut up um, maybe two sausage and I'm going to probably put on there. Um, or whatever. I don't want too much meat, too much sausage in there because I already have the fish going on. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this down. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. I got my. Ooh, I need to open this window. Hold on, let me just turn this thing to open this window. There we go. I got my cabbage on. So. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm going to bring it so you can see. Got my cabbage on, and this is fried cabbage with sausage. Okay. Still got my fish in the oven, and I'm about to put my rice on. And I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, I clean up as I go along because I don't like a lot of stuff around when I'm cooking. But um, my rice is on. So everything is on, and I'm trying to figure out if I wanted to make some type of garlic bread. Just a thought, but anyway, um, what cornbread? Eh, I don't know. Um, anyway, my rice is on, and my cabbage is on, and my fish is in the oven. So, you right there? Okay, guys. So. I decided to make homemade uh, cheesy garlic bread or whatever. Okay, so. Okay, so. Um, oh, y'all can see it. I have toast. So, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to butter this bread. hitting it from the side because I don't want this toast to go all in this but okay anyway I don't know what I'm talking about but um so then I didn't have regular um garlic so I'm just gonna use garlic pepper I'm not gonna use too much I'm just gonna use a little bit of it on each one okay then short crepe 
I'm just going to put some cheese on here. On each one. And then I'm just going to use some parsley. Well, I think this one even has probably no cheese on it. Hold up. I am going to put this in the oven and then by the time everything is done it should be almost done I will be right back okay um, I am all done I have the fried cabbage with the sausage here's the cheesy bread with the garlic and pepper and parsley flakes and here's the fish with the rice with peppers and onions Okay, I guess I give it a try and see how it tastes. It's good. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It's over there, it's over there, somewhere around here. Hit that bell so you can get a video every time I upload. And Bye, besties. I can go enjoy my meal.